Well, hi guys. So I don't normally do a lot of uh, reviews on tea because it's hard to say like I like this tea and you may not like this tea. So how do you give a review on it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try Earl Grey Lavender. I don't know. I, I don't like a lot of herb teas. Like I don't drink things like uh, rose hips or dandelion root. I just simply don't like the taste. I really don't like hibiscus and I don't like floral teas that much. But I do like to put a lavender sprig in my uh, green tea every now and then. And of course, Earl Grey is gonna be black tea. So I thought, let's try it. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Okay, so I just opened the package and you can definitely smell the Earl Grey bergamot. Ah, it smells really deep and sort of citrusy at the same time. I'm not really smelling lavender. I'm smelling something that's more like citrus or blood orange or something. I don't know. It's not the smell that I expected at all. It's more of a citrus smell. It's a very deep smelling bergamot tea but with almost like a citrus hint to it. it. Smells good. We'll try it. All right, I found my little tea ball. It's this little teapot looking thing. I'm gonna fill it up, put it in my hot water, and let it steep for about three to five minutes. See what we think then. Okay, well, I tried my tea, and you may be wondering why am I trying loose leaf tea? Well, I've been reading up on tea bags and wondering if they're harmful to the environment. And indeed they are. They're made with some kind of plastic polymers. They've got glue, they've got chemicals, they've got bleach, they've got all this stuff. And they do not biodegrade like you think they do. They're not 100% biodegradable. Unless you look specifically for a company that uses 100% plant-based biodegradable tea bags you are actually harming your body and the environment every single time you use a tea bag. Who knew? Okay, so that explains why I'm trying loose leaf tea. Even though it is a pain in the butt to fill up that little thing, which that little one is too, it's too annoying. It's cute, but it's too annoying. Um, I'm, I've got a big bell up there, and I think I'm going to use the big bell because at least that way I can get the tea, the swollen tea, used tea out of the tea ball or tea bell um easier so uh and it can go straight into my compost and be really good in my compost uh but not the tea bags so you don't want to use tea bags you know if you want to help the environment in fact um tea balls versus tea bags um you leave 10 times more carbon footprint behind with a tea bag than you do if you use a tea ball okay so this tea came from garden Ica. I got it off of Amazon, $9 and something, oh, I can smell it from here, smell that bergamot, $9 and something for four ounces, it is organic black tea, natural oil of bergamot, and organic lavender flowers. I was extremely happy with the citrusy of the citrusness, <laughs> citrusosity of the Earl Grey tea bags. I didn't make that word up, that's a real word. Citrusosity. Look it up. <laughs> it's in Marcy's dictionary anyway. Um, I was very pleased with that. The Earl Grey tea from this, it's 100% organic and it tastes amazing. Very fresh. The best Earl Grey I've ever tasted. However, <laughs> I was looking for that lavender. Um, so I don't know that I would go through all the trouble of ordering the lavender again because you're just not getting that lavender taste. But see, I'm spoiled to lavender because I grow lavender and I grow a lot of lavender. Um, I grow actually Grosso lavender uh, because it works, uh, it comes back every year in my area. I'm only in a six, a zone, hardiness zone six and I can grow Grosso lavender. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm used to cutting an entire uh, stalk of lavender and using a whole stock of it in my glass of iced tea in the summertime. And I was looking for that fresh, oily burst of lavender in that cup of tea, and I, it just wasn't there. Um, it's lavender-esque, that is a word too. 
It is lavender-esque and has extreme citrusosity. But it also is an ethereal <laughs> and superb blend of Earl Grey. It says ethereal on the back, y'all. I didn't make that up. Okay, um, it smells amazing. Um, would I buy it again? I like this brand, Gardenica. Um, not crazy about the packaging, though. I would like to find, uh, but it's still, it's better than, you know, a thousand tea bags <laughs> in my compost. But still, I, I need to find an all organic tea packaging, something that's more biodegradable. So maybe I can figure out a way, and I don't order big bunches and gobs of, of anything because I don't want to sit around and go bad on me. Um, so will I order this again? I might. I might order this brand again. However, I'd like to find a more biodegradable, uh, environmentally friendly package. Uh, and then I'd be 100% organically happy. Okay, guys. So that was, so the flavor is there. The Earl Grayness of it is there. The uh, citrusosity is there. Um, it's wonderful Earl Grey. If you're looking for the lavender flavor, though, it's it's, and you're used to fresh lavender, you're not gonna you're not gonna experience that. But it, it's like I said, it's lavender esque a little, um, and that's about it for this tea. And that's why I'm gonna try and do more loose leaf tea. I want m less of the bleach and the plastics and the little micropolymers and all of that that you get in uh, tea bags. So uh, I'm going to try it. I might order some of those organic uh, reusable tea bags, but I look for that to be kind of a, a pain too, because you got to remember, I don't have running water here, so it's not like I can rinse them out easily. So I don't know. That's going to be, that's going to be a problem. I think just the bigger bell is going to work for me here in my situation. Um, so that little cutesy teacup thing, because that was a pain to get that tea back out of that thing. And I do like the tea. I may order this again, but I'm probably going to look for something with a little bit more environmentally friendly packaging. But the tea itself is amazing. Give this a try. Okay, guys, that's it. Love and light.